the 15 that I travel with, like when I do the IMSA events and uh, KnobCon and uh, I fly this, uh, it's gone with me all around the world. And uh, How old is it? Uh, this one, this one, the the original that uh, like 1975, and you just keep uh, fixing that one up. Uh, well, there's nothing to fix up. Generally, it works like a tank. Uh, See, they used to make stuff really. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But I did change out just because the you know the the low pass filter here, uh, you know the high pass filter. If you if you put the two of them together, that's a uh, vampire. That's yeah, but no, but it's it's four spaces, and oh. and so if I had two spaces here, what I was able to do was put in uh, one of Gert's uh, Moon Modular, so that I have a switchable high pass and low pass. Oh, nice. And uh, then I I'm about to do this, uh, where I take this out and there's an eight uh, a single space eight VCA. Uh, I'll be able to put that in here. I'll have more VCAs, and then there's a dual. One, because that doesn't really affect the sound. It affects the shape, but the tone color here, uh, the Moon Modular sounds great. Mm -hmm. uh, and I can uh, then take and have a couple of multiple uh, envelope generators here, an eight banger for the VCAs, and then the audio VCA will still go out of here, out of the Moke. And then I put in a, a MIDI, uh, again, Moon Modular, uh, MIDI device. Uh, I I never use this. I never use this. I should switch it out and put another kind of mixer in there. I find I need more mixers because I mix uh, control voltages, mm -hmm. you know, not just audio. Sure. So, um, but that, you know, again, you put that, I have a suitcase that weighs 11 pounds. This is 39 pounds without the back on it. And I can put it in with the foam and get it uh, 50 bucks, fly it as an extra suitcase uh, on any airline. This uh, is expanded, and actually I had two of them. I had two 55s, and uh, then, uh, oh, that's the 2021, that's great. And I got my Bob Moog 50 year, and straight out of patch cables, I thought that was funny. We, on, on that film, we had originally on all those, on straight out of Compton, mm -hmm. uh, on that, all those records. That was all my synthesizers, all my mini Moog, everything there every day. And and uh, so if we were going to be true to form in that, which not all everything in that film was true to form, but you'd take and uh, put an SST sticker on the side of all those synthesizers. Mm -hmm. uh, this, you know, again, I, I put it off of the trunk lines in the back, so I can run up to here. Um, but I have uh, enough voices that I can actually have all four. These are duophonic, true duophonic, right? There's a separate portamento on each voice. There's uh, a gate on each voice. Um, this was a cool little thing for our, all our keyboard gigs. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of using a... Uh, a hardware <laughs> S-trigger, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and this, you know, this, uh, absolutely. For me, I, I, I just, to be able to have vibrato here, uh, trill here, uh, controllable uh, pitch bend down here, and a different pitch bend up here, that's... And, and, and to... For my soloing, I, I have to have that kind of a, a wang. I talked about that in the, the rolling paddle, studio. yeah. Yeah, got to be able to do it. And and this is just, I love this. I fly this all around with me. And uh, that's that. This room, hey, it's for mostly for keyboard players, but this was this was one of my immediate purchases at NAMM. What is it? Oh, okay. Tiny little bottle of Leica? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I like that. And then this is a completely different sounding piano. Theremin? Oh yeah, the theremin -y. Uh I And we have uh, Bob Moog signed our theremin. We have old ones, we have new ones and stuff. But Edie has perfect pitch so she can play it. Me, not so much. But, uh, I can't understand. But this is... Uh, it's all this 
classical stuff. She, she, you know, she plays and then she'll come out every now and then uh, and check her uh, arrangements here. But usually she's working on an X key with a, a piano module hmm. uh, in her office and that's where she does most of her arrangements and stuff. Um, Let's see, what else is in here? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Ah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> talking. Head no bigger. Yeah. 1957 Fruitwood um, B. And uh, oh, this was a pristine 122 that I had in my storage and had it completely reworked up from the inside. And this was a high boy. Mm -hmm. And it, I had, it was a, you know, uh, a dual speed. It was like off and fast, but I had it all modified up. And, uh... <laughs> Synthplex has kind of taken over my whole life. Uh, this Bob, when he wasn't allowed to use his name, he built these at Formula Sound. Uh, before the Big Briar thing? Uh, before he went back to Big Briar. Uh, there was a whole, that whole period where he couldn't use his name, I don't think. Yeah, he could. He, uh, anyway, this was, this was, boy, this was... See, I want to go back and punch in there because I, I hadn't like warmed up or anything, and now I want to redo my part. The uh, uh, <laughs> the uh, dual VCO is great. This this is a great box. This uh, uh, I think it's uh, Max Matthews, right? Mike Mike Matthews, Max mm -hmm. Matthews, uh, based on his trying to duplicate electronically uh, duplicate the. Violin and cello bodies and stuff, and uh, it 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 rings. It's really nice, but this one here, in its simplicity, the Moog string filter, really adds a wonderful character. You're like to a gut string guitar or to a bassoon, really gorgeous. I've never seen one of these. Oh yeah, I got a couple, and I have two that Niall Steiner built, the guy who did the Iwi. I have two of them upstairs, and and they they just sound great. Uh, this, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Keyboard players. I don't know if keyboard players. <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty cool when you think about it. Uh, I went, I was at the first aisle of Hall E at the NAMM show a couple years back. I was going down and, and I looked at the inlay and I went, wow, that must, you know, what, what are these, like 7,000, 8,000? Eight thousand dollars, and he went. Uh, the guy got stopped at customs. His equipment came through, but he didn't. And I'm just going to clear the booth for him. So, uh, what do you think? A hundred dollars? And I went, Yeah! Right. <laughs> Here. And he, and he actually jumped back. He jumped back, and, and uh, uh, I bought it. I, 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 it was the first aisle of NAM, you know, 10, 9.30 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Exactly. And I, I've got this thing in my bag, and I'm carrying it around until I got uh, up to the stomp light, and they let me put it in. But, it, you know, I just, wow. it's just fantastic. And, oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's real. It's wood. It's real. Uh, this... This is from Germany. Uh, I had an aunt who uh, left that to my wife and I, and uh, it's perfectly in tune. It's a beautiful uh, manual pump organ. Uh -huh. And uh, 
I had about eight of them, eight of these. And I think I've kept, now I have three. This one and two at SST. You know, the one like Paul McCartney uses ours when he comes into town and stuff. It's, it's a very nice uh, pump organ, but this is perfectly in tune. Uh, that's more art than anything else right now, that tuba. This is, uh, we rebuilt this for Synthplex last year. I'm sorry, this, hold on. This, this <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, walnut. And uh, it's absolutely, uh, Steve Donato did a fabulous job. Every jack, every switch, completely replaced the power supply. It is pristine and it sounds incredible. These emus are great. They're not left or right the way I would think, you know, because I, I am very much a left or right guy. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it, it it's the way it was it was laid out and to to change it would have been a major deal so it's uh it's different from any other modular i've ever had um than the arp 2600 and the uh when i piece all my eight uh or six uh e overheims together i consider that a modular system because i have sure. patch points on all of them and uh this is completely different and it sounds, sounds phenomenal. 